everybody and welcome to my channel. Hi, my name's Celia. You know, when I was a kid, I thought ninjas were the coolest thing ever. Mainly because I love their outfits and the fact that they could sneak around everywhere and do ninja cool things. Totally awesome. I was also in martial arts, so that kind of helped too. And I loved how their wrists were always wrapped and they wore black gloves and they were so cool. Never did I realize that one day I too would be wearing black gloves, but not because I was a ninja. Anybody who has carpal tunnel will know what these are. They are wrist braces, basically. They have a nice hard piece of metal in there, so it keeps your hand from going any further than that. And they're slightly uncomfortable uh, when you have to wear them for more than five minutes. But they are kind of cool looking, I mean, in some ways. Ninja. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today, my carpal tunnel story. Ding! -ding! Let me take you back four years, four years ago. When I first started my job at GTM, which is now Champion Teamware, I started out as a graphic artist and everything we did was on computer. So I had a normal two monitors and a computer keyboard, normal everything. And what I started to notice after a couple of months of working there was that my wrists and my entire arm started going numb. My fingers started losing all their feeling. I started getting extremely weak. Then there was striking pain all through my wrist the whole time and it got worse and worse and worse to the point that one day I went to pick up my water bottle and I couldn't pick it up. Like I literally went like this and was like, oh my gosh, I can't pick that up. It hurts so bad. I had to like pick up with both wrists and like do this, open it and then be like, ugh. Ow, 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 ow. So it got to a point where it was really bad and I could barely do my work. Emailed my HR just to be like, hey look, my wrists are killing me. I don't know what's going on exactly. And I was wondering if I could get to the doctors to go check it out. And they were like, hey, actually we want to talk to you real quick. So I went to their office and it was like a blur. They immediately printed out a paper, put it in my hands and said, okay, you need to go to the emergency room down the street. Here's the address. Go pack up your stuff and get there now. I'm all like, what? Pack up my stuff? You mean all my stuff? Or are you just saying like my work stuff for the day? It was like, I don't know, after lunch that they got back to me. So I was packing up all my stuff and they gave me a note and said, give this to your boss and it'll explain everything, but you need to go there now. I had to like go from HR to my boss, give him a note, say I have to leave. I hope that explains and then get out of there. Thankfully, the emergency room was literally down the street a couple turns and I was there. Once I got to the emergency room, I sat there going, I don't know what's going on. They just told me to be here. I had to give him a note saying I was told to come here. I don't know why. So about 30 minutes later, the doctor called me in. I went to the little room and he was like, okay, so basically I need to check your wrists and see what's going on. Tell me what pain you're feeling. Tell me if this hurts. Tell me if it doesn't. Like, does this hurt? Does this hurt? Does this hurt? I was like, no, I can't feel anything. And then be like, ow, yes, that hurt. And it was all kind of a big rush. I mean, he was in and out of the office in like 10 minutes, came back, had two boxes, which contained these and basically said, okay, you have carpal tunnel and you have a pretty bad and you have it in both wrists. And you need to wear these braces period like you just need to wear the braces and he also told me to do a couple stretches every day all day as long as i can like every hour on the hour type thing and then he was like here's your paperwork here's your blah here's your braces and i was gone that day was a big long blur of emotions and events i was at work i was told to go to the emergency room when and then, and then i get to the emergency room told i have carpal tunnel and given braces and sent home and i mean like a lot of things were up in the air i was like okay my company sent me here so does that mean things are getting covered by insurance or not not being covered i had no idea what was going on i was just told what to do and i did it so i was hoping when i got back to work the next day everything would be cleared up and i'm like is this covered am i going to be paying 10 grand for this i don't know what's going on thankfully the company did take care of it all because it was covered under insurance they got me to the emergency room right away because well my wrists really were really bad and because it was just what they did you have a problem they can fix it send it to you right away no problem so it was a little bit of a blur of emotional day for me but at the end after it all was done and over with i was like very very thankful my company did that because 
it really helped and it really got me in the mindset of like I do have carpal tunnel on both wrists I do need to take care of this and it really helped me if they hadn't acted when they did I probably would be a million times worse right now so even though it was a traumatic day that day afterwards I'm very thankful for what they did